Dear colleague Sam, thank you so much for the invitation because I indeed consider this issue is very important and I hope that we'll have today a very interesting and useful discussion. And based on the results of the discussion, we indeed will have an opportunity to pass a document that will be a transparent one that will ensure uh, the uh, legal provisions will ensure uh, uh, indiscriminate of nature and provide explanations how the committee will apply this recommendatory explanation what sizes of fines will be applied on economic agents as for the presentation i would uh, i would like to d d divide the presentation in three key directions first to point out key Key provisions on which recommendatory explanations are based, on which the uh, determin determination of uh, fines are planned, will be you welcome protecting the competitive environment. And then to give and give uh, just actual examples on a violation of what fines fines were applied on the results of the case and what. Uh, terrible sentence so would have applied we would apply the recommendatory explanations and principles that are used in these explanatory uh, explanations and third to focus on those issues on which already the head of the anti-monopoly committee said which have been confronted by the committee while applying these explanatory explanations as for key provisions at the moment um, the methodology itself of applying fines provides the so-called not two level or three level system of defining fines. At the first level, it is necessary to to determine the basic size of the fine and then and does in take into account the segregating the circumstances. And the third level, the fine itself is specified as on the maximal uh, size of this uh, fine, which is provided in the article uh, law of uh, Article 54 of the law, that's one five ten percent of the common turnover of the economic needs and the impact of the fine of the competitiveness of the economic agents. That is the objective of the anti anti monopoly committee table and the objective imposing it cannot be just to restrict competition. And if the fine is not is too huge, too enormous it just it doesn't mean that the stakeholder the play market play will be destroyed and applying all the fines only so there's opportunity to increase the fine if, for example a carbon effect or just uh, the grave the seriousness of the violation have been specified while defining the basic rate of the side of the fine as for the basic rate of the fine at the moment the basic rate of the fine in the wording of that draft that has been sent three w three months ago, that has been uh, disclosed three months ago, and now has been described the basic size of the fund is specified with a, with a view of the economic size of the and the, the seriousness of the violation and direct carbon effect in order to just remove uh, the, uh, the, the 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 negative effects. Uh, negative uh, with an objective uh, of curbing uh, the violation and preventing thwarting of the violation, which is the key objective in this case. Uh, that the economic scale of the violation can be specified by way of three key components. This is if we speak about a buyer, uh, that is, there should be a the level of the costs on acquisition of the commodities directly and directly linked to the if we speak about the seller directly of the size of the proceeds of the seller from the sales of the commodities and services related to them you should take into account the duration the length of the violation and accordingly the territory in which this violation took place as for the uh, just uh, take into account the seriousness of the violation, one should point out that 
based on the findings of international experts as well as Ukrainian experts and based on the data that the anti montable Committee has, the seriousness of the lesion is considered as the percentage point of the proceeds of the pro uh, the result of which uh, the uh, just, uh, increase or decrease of the price has been made, and it's this uh, the uh, buyer or the seller. Therefore, take into account uh, the empirical data. At present, uh, the uh, comment, the explanatory comments does provide the the, the, the seriousness is 30 20 percent and when a monopoly reduces it 10 15 percent and in case of the concentration that lead to the monopolization or considerable restriction of the competition the market is 3.3 to 7 percent ensuring uh, the curving effect is ensured by way of increasing of that basic percentage point by the ratio depending to what this violation is easily or just difficult to detect. And in view of the seriousness of the violation and the economic scale, the committee has proposed at the moment the present uh, the so the following uh percentage what is called hardcore uh, horizontal agreed concerted actions which are indeed rather difficult to detect then for the committee it's proposed to take forty five percent of the turnover that has been obtained uh, and in terms of violation in the relevant territory and under Uh, just in a relevant period of time, as for other anti-competitive agreed action, it has been probably 30 percent of the vertical concerted actions or some other actions when there is no too strong restriction. As for the abuse in the competitive situation, as uh, so the committee has proposed 50 percent to take into account the basic rate back versus and then dead case. Did you compound to read that indeed the the abuse in the monopoly situation is seriousness as the same as cartels? Maybe initially uh, 30 or 45 percent to specify the basic size of the fine. As for the Cuban practices, restricted practice, and the inclusion of the rules under its five percent of the in of the income in case of a violation. That draft that is considered of recommended comments uh, provides an opportunity for a flat rate of a fine in the so-called formal violation. These are not quite formal ones because in any case these are violations of laws on the protection of the economic condition. But the seriousness of these violations um, uh, not so seriously influencing the restriction in competition or the market on the whole. In addition, as indeed these violations are similar between themselves and uh, an indifference to to other violations. Uh, as well as in, in the abuse uh, concerted actions, and they have some specifications that are being uh, repeated from one relation to another. And then, by the planetary committee, is provided establish a flat size of the basic fine in case of their inclination to violation in the way of submitting information and creation of the conditions of for, to prevent activities of the committee. As what I can point out that regretfully the existing statistical data of the IMCU testifies that the infringing the procedure of submitting uh, the information it considers to, to just uh, totals the major part of the violation are so objective to change it but in any case what we have today proves that this question is to be more uh, regulated in detail therefore the committee okay uh -huh. however the committee has proposed on the 
on the, on the, on the issue of their responsibility to propose a matrix that provides according to the scope of the relation depending on uh, uh, economic adjacent does as to decrease or increase the fine but as a matter of fact uh, three types of relations are taken into account not provision of information in case of the construction not provision of information in case of research of the study or uh, non -sub submittal of the information or any relations uh, there is a case on violations uh, there is a law on the production of the economic also depending on the uh, economic subject that has not submitted information or has submitted not a full information to make some gradation that is if it is a third party for example a competitor or a consumer which has been requested by the committee to provide information on the effects of their proposed concentration. It's one way of influence on the activity uh, and the committee and its community. If it's considered a case on anti-competitive uh, concerted actions and a request is necessary for to specify the availability or the present violation on the uh, prevention of this violation that is provided the importance of this request in with regards to provide or not provide information is more important for the size of the rate of this fine is provided more considerably higher than in case that has been specified before I consider that this information will provide this information and it may be considered in a, a more profound way later. In any case, in view that a recommended recommend provides for the, in the increase or in increase of the basic size, in view of the aggravating circumstances that provided in any case, the basic size of the fine should not exceed two thirds of the maximum possible size of the fine. If the question about the abuse in the anti monopoly situation, in any case, the basic size of the fine should uh, should be two th no, should not be more than two thirds of the 10% of the overall turnover of the economic agent. If it exceeds the basic size, uh, will uh, total particularly two-thirds of the co total uh, turnover. Aggravating circumstances on the, on, with regards to the uh, aggravating circumstances, the committee in that word and has been providing, provided does provide an unexpired list of uh, softening and uh, aggravating circumstances. Among them, that's the repeatedness of the violation of that's residue, recidives, uh, and does any an inactivity on creation or prevention in this uh, list. This has been explained with the explanations of the and with you, and with the view of the comments that has been received from the GCOMPA, a decision has been made that this list should not be should not be should not be a uh, final as for the softening circumstances the question is circumstances they cannot be um, different the most widely spread as voluntary uh, stoppage that's uh, compensation of the damage a removal of the negative effects or just uh, but it's an arguable question on which we have received many comments that's actually a non main non-compliance of the on uh, compliance with the concerted actions and uh, plain with that the uh, actually was com was in a competition cooperation with the committee also commitment of violations as a result of their intrusion of their executive authorities and a voluntary voluntary uh, uh, just request for the concentration in case of concentration without the required permission. One of the reasons that has not been marked in the previous uh, draft of the uh, comments, that's the availability of the uh, compliance program. That's an issue that needs additional discussion. Examples. Cases. We have taken 
old cases that have been already uh, just resolved by the committed dead that's not obtaining the permit for me for their consideration and this uh, competitively agreed uh, actions for an example uh, the case on the violation of the protection of the of the economic protection of the economic relation that is from Donetsk Zelenitsa uh, just on the using of the cover of the linings in trains actually fines imposed was imposed approximately two years ago totaled about 50 million grivnas uh, the annual uh, proceeds of the company totaled 10 billion uh, uh, 800 million grivnas. Uh, the uh, fine total only 0.5 percent of the total turnover of the economic agent. In view of the provisions of the explanatory comments, the fine. The final calculation just uh, of the fine total are uh, one uh, million uh, some that's one point seven seven twenty five million it's considerably lower than the fine that was imposed on the economic agent before what factors were taken into account duration of the violation two years the size of the proceeds only from the market of services on using the lines in uh, the in trains railway trains railway cars also geographical scope of the market were in a certain and substantial secondary for example they apply 10 percent in the in the form that they uh, compensated to the negative effects the question to what extent the uh, the market of services of using the car railway car lines is big and particularly what was the the what was what the amount of proceeds should be used to specify the amount of the fine the another uh, case concentration without requiring the permit of the committee concentration has n has not been burned in any case there were no negative effects on the uh, district petition the amount of the fine total one hundred five thousand grivnas which which is indeed as one at a point point zero 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 nine percent in view of the provisions of the explanatory comments duration of the violation a year and a half that is since concentration till the voluntary application to the mcu to get the permission for concentration in view of these provisions the amount of the fine would total 20 million grivnas also softening or uh, gravitating exceptions have not been taken into account because they were not presented during the case consideration the household appliances market both companies and uh, the uh, purchaser and sellers they were here just the market of the household appliances as the case on uh, the infringing the laws on the protection of the economic relation in the form of the anti-competitive concerted actions that's uh, now uh, 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 just uh, just a renowned case of unprocessed uh, timber that uh, sold at specialized auctions as a matter of fact that's in aggregate for that's uh, all companies the annual uh, uh, turnover total five billion grivnets actually imposed fine total 419 million with duration of relation a total one year if we take all aggravating circumstances this coordination of activities also to take into account There were no just uh, softening of circumstances. Uh, actual time that uh, has been uh, one year, then the time for the calculation will be 
5.6% of the annual turnover, almost by 3% lesser than actually the fine was supplied for this case. Questions? That has been uh, underlined at, in his introductory remarks. Our chairman, which are indeed very important for the committee. That's first to specify basic size of the fine, empiric or unjust and lawful advantages. The first word proposed by the committee can, can just uh, uh, was based that uh, it was uh, just. So the issue arises that the committee have faced the calculation of improper advantages obtained as a result of this because the statistical information obtained by the committee up to 5% of the cases you have no possibility to calculate this advantage and to apply it in the concrete and specific case so that's why uh, the question to the whole audience is it proper really uh, for, for purpose of calculation of basic level of sanction to calculate the improper advantage obtained or uh, to apply 30% or 50% approach and the basic sanction should be based on empiric study or improper advantage and who should bear the burden uh, to provide information what kind of amount should be specified and what is the amount really is what is the improper advantage the business have to provide this data or, or anti-monopoly so-called committee or competition committee and so uh, how we have to take into account the individual non-compliance or infringement or we should have comprehensive study of the market in the committee, we have the following practice that concrete and specific application is based on concrete and specific infringement of the legislation. And our approach, our task is to change the practice and to analyze the market in a holistic way, in a comprehensive way, and not to protect uh, just in general, but to uh, protect uh, the businesses and to get uh, to overcome the situation that we have to create proper competition uh, in the market and not to deal with only the business that infringes the rules and as well the issue that have been raised about one week ago uh, the calculation and the uh, quantity mechanism should we base it on uh, to and from, or it should be more uh, discretion uh, for the committee, what kind of percentage have to be applied or certain percentage.